Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. And I love new crafting friends. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great content. And today I wanna to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Today is all about creating antique looking paper. This is fantastic to make for your DIY projects. You can decoupage with it. You can print on it and frame it. You can leave it blank and write a little note or mail a letter to somebody. So many possibilities. And I've got a little hack that you can do it really quickly. I've done tutorials before where you put it in the oven and you dry it slowly. This hack you can do in minutes and have antique vintage looking paper ready for your projects quick. Okay, lots of work, let's get started. Today is all about aging paper super quick. I've just printed off one of my graphics on a plain piece of paper and I'm going to transform it into something that looks old and vintage antique. This process is perfect if you want to create paper that looks old for your journaling, for scrapbooking, for decoupage, for any sorts of arts and crafts, this works fantastic. So we're gonna get started. The first step that I like to do is I like to make the edge of my paper ragged. That just makes it look a little bit more antique and a little bit more vintage. This is just a little dish of water and I'm just rubbing it along the edge of the paper and you can tell when it's soaked through, it'll start to lighten up. You can rip it, but I find it's hard to be consistent. This works great. It's just a pair of scissors, and I just take the scissors on the edge and just go along, and you can see how it just makes that edge ragged really easy. And you're just gonna do that on all four sides. That easy, we've created a ragged edge. I've done tutorials before on my channel using all kinds of different products to age paper. Coffee, tea, lemon juice, soy sauce, vanilla, they all work fantastic and I dried them in the oven and it always takes a little bit of time. Today's tutorial is all about doing it quickly. You got a project you want to get done but you want to create a fantastic antique looking piece of paper then this work method works perfect. This can be a little bit messy, so make sure you have an area where it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do it right on my craft table because this is easy to wipe up afterwards. We need instant coffee, a little dish of water, a piece of paper towel, and just a spoon. You're gonna take your instant coffee and put a good heaping teaspoon, doesn't really matter how much, you're gonna scrunch it up in that paper towel. Make sure you got it in there really good in a little bowl. And you're going to set it in that dish of water and let it just soak for a minute and melt some of that coffee. Okay, now we are ready to start aging our paper. You're just gonna blot it on the paper randomly it doesn't have to be in a pattern or anything. It's all about creating different textures on the paper. Dip it back in the water when it dries out. Get it right to the edge. You want that edge really dark. And the little bubbles in it that it creates when they dry, it looks fantastic. And it smells yummy too. So you wanna make sure you coat that whole piece of paper. I've got it all coated and you can see the little bubbles in it. When that dries, it's gonna look really neat on the paper. Now we're ready for the next step. Get out your heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer, but just be careful because the hair dryer blows out more of a burst of air and it might blow your paper around. But I just put it on a low setting and just dry your paper and it doesn't take very long. It'll dry really quickly. Mm -hmm. 
and that's already dry, we're gonna flip it over because you wanna make sure, unless you're decoupaging it and you're not gonna see the back, but if you're doing a project where you're gonna see the back, flip it over and do the same process. And if you're finding the coffee is kind of wearing out, you can open it back up or get a new piece of paper towel and add coffee into it. As you can see, see a lot of that coffee has dissolved. So I'm just gonna put another scoop in there, scrunch it back up, put it back in the water to activate it again. And then keep on going. And that's it. Created an antique looking piece of paper, vintage looking piece of paper, really quickly. And the nice thing about it, no mess, just throw this out in the garbage and that's, you're finished with it. I'm gonna do a couple more and show you how they turn out. If you appreciate a good DIY project, then you need to subscribe to Skillshare. If you've ever had any questions or just wanna learn more about crafting, then Skillshare is a place for you. Skillshare is an online video-based platform where you can learn anything from photography to calligraphy. And the difference between Skillshare and YouTube and why I like it so much is it focuses on interaction, much like being in the real life classroom. The instructor lays out the steps in a way that's easy to comprehend. It's also ad-free and you can stay in the zone while exploring new skills. With the new classes being launched every week, there's always something new to discover. I have fallen in love with journaling and mixed media and i just finished taking nina van der Grohe's mixed media journaling class and it was amazing a lot of the techniques i used in today's video i learned in her class for less than ten dollars a month you can learn a new skill and if you click on the link in my description the first thousand people will get to try skillshare for one month free so try it out and let me know what you think another thing that you can do before you coffee stain it is you can take it and you can scrunch it up into a ball so it gives it that wrinkled look and all these graphics that i'm using today you can find in my etsy store if you want to try these techniques out yourself with these graphics and now we've got a wrinkled piece of paper and we can start to coffee dye it if it starts to run out you can add more coffee Get a new piece of little piece of paper towel and just keep going. Now, one thing that I will mention, I printed this off on my laser jet printer so my ink won't run. If you have a inkjet printer and you print on your paper first, your ink might run when you're doing this process. You can completely avoid that, age your paper the full size, and then put it through your printer and print on it afterwards if you have an inkjet. Laser jet, it works perfect. And there you have antique aged looking paper in a matter of minutes and it's so easy and works fantastic with very little mess. So let me know down in the comments if you've ever tried this aging technique that works really quick like this. I'd love to know how you made out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.